Benjamin O. Davis Jr.'s father was the first black United States Army general, so from the start, he had big shoes to fill. When Davis was 13, he went on his first plane ride. From that point on, he wanted to become a pilot. He first began his military career in the Spanish-American War. He later went on to West Point and graduated 35th in his class in 1936. After graduation, he tried to join the Air Force, but was denied because there was no black squadron for him to join. He taught at the Tuskegee Institute and found other black soldiers who also shared the dream to fly. Together, the group went to the Roosevelt administration and pushed to get in the Air Force. A new black squadron was formed and the Tuskegee Airmen, led by Benjamin O. Davis Jr., were allowed to fly. During World War II, the Tuskegee Airmen escorted many bomber planes against the German attack. Having over 200 missions, they only lost 27 bomber planes. The average losses for other squadrons was 60. Benjamin O. Davis Jr. served almost 50 years in the military and was awarded the Bronze Star Medal and the Distinguished Service Medal.